What school do you attend? We attend Hershey Beach Primary School. What have you learnt about Western power so far? Well, I've learnt that Western power controls all the power in schools, in your homes, in shops, and like other places and stuff. All right, so this is our town. We have a street lamp that is connected by batteries, wires, and an LED. So, put it on right now. And when the wires touch the batteries, this LED will turn on, yep. like so. Yep. Okay, so, All right. gonna so grab we the have batteries. Houses, yep. we have a school, we have roads, and we have all of the trees and a solar panel yep. that provides electricity and then send it to this so and then it can so now we have a street traffic light a traffic light here and this can it goes red and green as well wait but just need a... like that yeah all right now we're having technical difficulties with this. there we are so what have your five favourite things been about circuit breakers? Well, I like about circuit breakers that um, we get to design this like, town and we can like, put like, little things on the traffic light and also like, the street lamp to so, like, build like, a house for houses and a place. My name is Amy. My name is Amber. We're from Yanship Beach Primary School and together we're going to show you this amazing town we built to you. This is a quick bird's eye view of what we have made. Some of our favourite things about the Circuit Breakers project were the building, the coding, creating the circuits, learning about the different energy sources, and when Marie came in and explained the Western Power to her. This is the light we made. This is the circuit. We have two batteries the wire connected to the little LED legs and then that power goes through it and makes the LED light up. With Amy's coding, we made this little sign that says welcome to Ballhead. Thank you everyone for listening. Hi, I'm Kiki. And I'm Zara. We have been working together to do a circuit breaker project. We've been doing this all term. What have you learned this term about Western Powers? I have learned about Western Power Network by how they power our homes. What have you learned about Western Power? This term I have learned about um, that Western Power powers our homes, powers WA, and they are just a big part of our electricity. Things we've learned about our project is that all of this is made out of renewable resources and we've just been collecting and collecting all of this stuff and it's taken us um, a whole term to collect all of it. Our town is all made out of renewable resources. We have never paid a penny we have four windmills, we've got two medium ones and two large ones. They turn to make electricity in the wind and that is how they make their electricity and um, all through their resources and that is how they work. We have five solar panels, two big ones and they are not on buildings. We've 
also got them on roof. We also got the solar panels on the roof. And we've also got one big rain collector right here. Um, you can't really see it, but the water goes through and it um, like flows through when we want the water into our bucket. So yeah. Here we've got our traffic lights working. Um, it turns to red, green, um, and yellow. That is how they work. And um, that is all powered by our alligator clips into our micro bit with our battery pack. These are our two big solar panels. They direct um, sun all the way to other buildings like this one. There is a light on top that directs light just in case it gets dark. This is copper wire that Kiki is putting the batteries onto um, that makes it go on. the batteries to make a circuit. Oh, yeah. So it turns on and we connect it like as you can see the light here is um, actually working with the copper wire it is taped to the light and the light it's wire is connected to the battery so it's the rain collector as there it the water goes through there it goes into the hole and then goes into the box like the buildings this one is western power so this is the whole thing so this is basically like the big big town they've got a solar panel the electric station that you have your power to power your cars this is the charging port right here and it's also got a solar panel and we've also got the bike station that also has a solar panel but you gotta ride a bike to make your power so when we press this restart button here it, it says be. welcome because it and it's welcome you to heli hill here it says come power your home and that is um, how you power your home with the bike. Thank you for listening to our presentation Western Power. Hi, I'm Amelia. Hi, I'm Mia. And, and this, this is our Circuit Breakers Project. It is mandatory to start using renewable energy as fossil fuels are running out and we need to act immediately. We have built a place where we can save energy and have created a sustainable place for animals and people. Let's give you a tour. Firstly, on our left, we have the lightning catcher. It catches lightning, stores it and sends it to the grid, which gives the whole town power after a power outage. It is also a rectangular prism. Next we have our wind turbine slash farm. <coughs> we use our farm to represent how this, how using these energy sources are more sustainable and healthier for our environment. Next we have our solar panel power factory. It is made out of two rectangular prisms and two triangular prisms. It is covered with solar panels and stores lots of power for the other houses, buildings and sites to use. This is the school. It is cube and its power comes from the solar panel power factory. Next is the shop. The shop is also powered by the solar panel factory and it is rectangular prism and it has a little light on top with a huge window and a student. Next, we have three houses around about. Um, the three houses um, also have solar panels, but also have backup generators from the lightning catcher. This is the electrical car powering station. We've made this station so that the cars are not using petrol or oil and are not affecting the environment. On top of that, we have our series circuit with our two batteries connecting lighting up the little light Urgh, come on little light <laughs> work for me it is connected by a bunch of wires that are connected to our micro bit hello my name is kieran and i'm zach and together we built this town using the circuit breakers project and the micro renewable breakers. energy is a way you make electricity and power using renewable and sustainable sources such as solar energy wind energy and water energy so the first form of 
way we can make power in our town called Cac Town is by using wind energy. This works by the wind turbine spinning when it gets windy. All the electricity gets sent to the Western Power Grid. The second way we make electricity is solar panels. Each building has solar panels on them and when they make electricity that they don't need, it goes back to the Western Power Grid. And the final way we can make electricity is using the water hydro debt generator. Water enters through it and comes out fresh, clean water and any power created will be sent to the Western Power Generator. The first way we can show how to generate power is with our street lamp here. You press A for on and B for off. The second way we can also generate power is with this street light uh, lamp over here where we connect the two batteries together and the light turns on. The third way we use energy in this town is on our town billboard where you press A and it says welcome to Cap Town. Oh, and then we also press reset to stop our phone. Something I enjoyed when building Cap Town was doing the coding for all the LEDs because I found it fun and interesting. Something I really enjoyed while building Cat Town was actually building the whole model. Even though it was tricky and I had to do it on my own because Kieran didn't do anything because it was sick, I really enjoyed it. Thank you Western Power for reviewing and letting us use the circuit breakers. I've never used them and I've had so much fun. I second that thing. And also thank you to my parents and Zach's parents for coming and to watch our town and see how amazing it is. Thank you and goodbye. We attend Yenton Beach Primary School. Um, in Western Power, we learn how to make working circuits, how to transform electrons into electricity that we can use, and how to harvest electricity like through wind and solar and stuff. Okay. So our top five favourite things was making circuits, the coding on the micro bit, painting the board, building our town, and learning how to harness electricity. Um, on our circuit breakers project, we made windmills so we could have some renewable sources. We had solar panels. So we could have more energy. Um, we had substations, so if it's cloudy and not windy, and we had. Oh, and there's also these, a light there, but you can't actually see it that well. There's these rocks from space which we harness electricity from. We also have um, a circuit here so we can light up the billboard. Circuit Breakers Project. We'd like to thank Maria and all the teachers that helped us.